Hello there, it's me Sibin from Librami. In this video, I will be introducing a new feature which is innovative and very unique. Previously, I have introduced an AI chatbot within Librami. In that, you can provide a set of data to train the AI and the AI will answer based on the user question, similar to what you can see on the screen. But here, what Librami is enabling is a very advanced AI agent. You can define which all data you need to collect from the user and give a prompt to the AI. And then the AI agent will collect the data from the user in a humanly interactive way and save these data as a variables to use further in this chatbot. And now I will show you how this chatbot works and then I will explain you how to build this AI agent. I have implemented this AI chatbot for a real estate company named Property Kit. Now let's see. When I'm sending a hi to this number, the chatbot will trigger and the AI agent will keep asking the question. So you see. Hi there, welcome to Property Kit. My name is Eva. How can I assist you today? May I know your name, please? So it started asking the name. So now I'm asking why you need my name. Great question. Knowing your name simply helped me to make our conversation more personalized. That's right. That is AI. So I'm telling my name and my name is Sibin. So now it got my name and it is asking the other questions like, are you looking to invest in property? Or perhaps you have a question about the real estate market. Right now I'm planning to invest. I'm telling, yes, I am. Let's see what it will ask next. That is exciting, Sibin. Investing in a property can be a great decision. Could you share what type of investment range you are considering? And this data is actually predefined. The options such as less than 1 million, 1 to 2 million, and 2 to 5 million. So I'm telling, I have no such limits. Let's see how it will answer. Wow, that is fantastic, Sibin. Having flexibility in investment opens up a lot of opportunities. To get a better idea of what might suit you best, may I ask you where you currently reside? So I'm telling, I live nearby the tallest building in the world. Let's see how it will pick up the data. Okay, living near such iconic landmarks must be quite an experience. It sounds like you are near the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Is that correct? Also, would you mind sharing a bit about your occupation? Okay, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm living nearby Burj and I'm an entrepreneur. Let's see. That's wonderful. Living in a such a vibrant area and being an entrepreneur must be very exciting. It can offer plenty of opportunities. May I know your nationality? Okay. I'm from India. Just to ensure I have everything, could you let me know your age if you don't mind sharing? Okay, I don't mind sharing. I'm sharing my age. So you see, uh, the AI is asking the question to me and I am answering back to the AI. So after it collected all the required information, it automatically ended up the conversation and provided the collected information back to me. Now after the conversation, you can see which all data I instructed the AI to collect. Those are age, nationality, occupation, residence and investment range. Now I'll show you how I defined this data types and instructed the AI to collect this data. So to do that, I have used the new module AI agent. I'll simply drag and drop to the canvas and show you which all option it has. So if I click here and expand, so you see the first option is to connect the account. So here you just need to connect your OpenAI key and then that will be selected. And the next is you have to select the model. So which will be GPT-40, 2024, 08 and 06. And here within the prompt, you can define a prompt. Here is the part where you define the data model. So I will show you what I have defined here in this real example. So if I click here and expand here, you can see I use the variable answer as a user input variable. And in the prompt, I have defined a prompt. I'll read that. You are a helpful AI assistant named Eva for a real estate company named Property Kit. Your job is to chat with the customer and collect information in a humanly interactive way. Starting with asking the name, do not forcefully ask question back to back. Interact with the customer like a consultant and collect the data nicely. So you can uh, further expand this prompt and make it for your purpose. And here is the magic happen. Here in the data model, you can define which all data to be collected and in which format. Here you can see personal details is an object and there is another object investment data. So if expand personal details, you can see the available details. The name is personal details and the description of the same is this will be the personal details of the customer. So this is for the AI to understand what it is about and this is required and the type is object. You see there are other options like string, integer, boolean, enum and array is available. Here within this object, I have defined other data such as name, age, nationality, occupation and residency. For the name I'm using it is 
a string label as name and the description as name of the user and it is required similarly for the age you can see since i'm using the integer type i can define another conditions like minimum and maximum value and the description is age of the customer and the next is nationality this must be the real country name this will work like a prompt and the next is occupation this is also a string residency is also a string similarly and you can actually define a boolean value uh, if you want to get a true or false response from the ai agent and uh, similarly you can use an enum or array okay so here with the investment range i have used the enum so the user answer for this investment range should be one of this so these are less than 1 million 1 to 2 million and 2 to 5 million so now i hope you understand the full potential of this one so what happened here is when the agent trigger it will ask the question to the user and then it will collect the answer from the user and it will work in a loop and when it succeed after collecting all the required information which we defined it will trigger the own success node and here i'm sending a message back to the user thanks for providing the information and then for testing purpose i'm using the collected information as a variable and sending back to the user using the quick reply module so you can see age is sent back to the user with the age variable so which mean the collected data can be saved into variable and then you can be used anywhere in this chatbot or you can we can use this to send it to another erp or any other software using this rest api module okay so i'm coming back to the ai module again see if you click on the response data actually i have predefined all the response data so this will be the default bot replay so that will be the question to the user back from the ai agent next is the success response that will be the first item will be the stringified json response which mean the defined data type will be saved as enter json data on this variable json success response and then we can use this variable as a entire payload to a rest api module and next you can see the name saved as name variable age age variable similarly all the variables in some cases customer may not want to continue the conversation if the ai agent keep asking the questions if the customer forcefully stop the conversation by saying like i don't want to provide this data i don't want to continue this something like that the ai agent will automatically terminate and execute this edge so we can define a separate message like it seems you are not interested in providing the de required details or we can give another prompt to try again and connect it with the ai agent again or you can continue to build another flow from here and now i will show you how to further expand this ai chatbot and use the full potential if you click on the ai agent you can see it has saved the response data as a string fight json that is json success response and now after triggering the own success node you can see it is sending a thanks response to the user and sending the information back to the user so when the user click confirm i'm planning to send this collected payload as an api request to a demo server let's see how it works and now i'm connecting from the confirm node to the api module and here i'm expanding and pasting a web book this is a demo website to test out the web books so here i'm copying the url paste and advanced configuration it will be a post request okay and within the body the variable json success response so that's it so i'll be sending a post request to this url with the body of json success response which we collect from the ai agent then it will collect all the required information from the user similarly it can be used to send to a different third party providers such as sapier pabli or make.com to run any other automation so so let's trigger the chatbot and let's see how this will trigger to trigger the chatbot again i'm sending the short code hash start a agent which i defined earlier i'm not planning to provide all the information in a conversation way i'm just giving all the information in a single message so it will automatically detect all the required information and proceed with the next step let's see if i'm missing anything it will keep asking me okay so it seems it's already collected all the information immediately it triggered the next module so i'm confirming the provided data so it should execute the webhook which you defined so let's look at the screen here let's see yeah that's received so now you can see the data collected our name age nationality occupation and residency and investment range received as a webhook payload to this url similarly the same data can be sent to any server and i would like to mention one more feature that is very useful sometimes the ai agent will keep asking the question and the user may not answer at the right time so what you can do here is you can click within this input module and enable a timeout so which mean if the user didn't respond within 5 minute this additional timeout module will trigger 
So here we can use the set module to define a value for the answer if the user didn't answer and uh, then the answer variable won't be added. So here from the timeout node, we can connect to the group seven here and set a value for the answer. So that will be like a system prompt here, define a value. System message, the user not responded to the last message and it's been a minute, send a follow up message back. So here from this node, connect it back to the AI agent. So I hope you got the idea that is if the user didn't answer within five minutes, the system message will prompt back to the AI agent by telling to send response back again. So here this will execute after five minutes and send another message to the user. So in that case, maybe the user will answer again and continue with this conversation. So similarly, you can actually expand this chatbot in a very advanced way using all these available modules. So to learn more about Librami chatbot, make sure you have watched all other videos and subscribe to the channel for more updates. If you have any questions related to this implementation, feel free to comment on this video. Thank you.